Hey everybody, this is Tembi and I'm back with another Transformers video review. And this time I have Transformers Combiners Wars Optimus Prime. Yeah, I don't really know what to say about this guy. I really feel that they took Minosaur and were like, hey, we can make an Optimus Prime out of this guy. And I think that's really what they did. It was either they took the Optimus Prime and made the Minosaur or they took the Minosaur and made the Optimus Prime. I don't know which came first. So as you can see, it's a, it's a nice size box with, you can see Optimus right here along with his gun. Uh, a nice little picture of him right here and then right here you just have this uh, the this logo right here for the Combiner Wars kind of thing and there's it here on the top again and then you can see him in his ultimate prime mode and he is 3 of 5 for that uh, so we come here and um, he does take 9 steps to transform which seems pretty easy for uh, for his size so uh, he does he does actually have kind of a bio here um, I can't let me see if I can get that in there um, geez my camera's too close let me raise it up so there's the bio right there but still no tech specs and then he is a middle piece of Ultra Prime, and then they have um, their suggested combination format for him. Um, then on the bottom, you know, there's more of that um, technical jargon and stuff. I don't even know what this even says. I think it's all in Spanish. Uh, maybe that's what it's supposed to say or something. I have no idea. I don't, I don't really care. So let's actually get him open and check him out. Alright, so I'm back with Optimus Prime out of the box and in his alt mode, which is his 18-wheeler um, cab mode. He does come with a couple of extra things inside his box. He comes with his, um, his little picture card, his instructions, um, two guns which can combine into one gun. So, uh, I don't know. I, I wish that they would have done a little bit more engineering on these so that the second peg would have you know, had some kind of mechanism in it so it would fold up. I don't really like combining it together and then having it, having a second really long um, handle sticking out of it. You can take these pieces and you can take them and mount them right here in his vehicle mode and kind of look like part of an engine maybe, but there's a big old gap in there. <laughs> And then you can see parts of what look like his his G1 gun if you hold it this way. You'll notice that. So, um, take those out. And real quickly, I'll show you off the vehicle. Uh, as you'll notice, there are some kind of paint app places where some paint could have been added but was not. Um, I think that these could have been molded out of red and it would have looked better um, just to kind of make it flow through kind of a little bit better and then had these windows painted like they were here. I don't know why they didn't do that. Um, the wheels roll pretty nice when you have it transformed decently. Uh, sometimes it can kind of warp around and, and be a little off a little bit and it'll wobble. Um, you have to kind of fiddle around with it for a little while to actually get it to be stable so that all the wheels will will roll like that. Um, other than that, it's it's pretty good little truck mode. Alright, so to transform him into his robot mode, we'll start right here. There's going to be some panels. Um, it's going to go right here and go all the way around. And that flips down like that. And we'll do that on both sides. And then we'll go ahead and take and lower these portions down. And then with that down, then we'll take this and rotate all this junk down. Which will become his legs. Flip the feet up. Raise the camera a little bit. And then we'll take this and rotate this around and these 
mirrors right here will actually clip into the side of the cab right there. And then you're gonna take and roll this all the way around. That becomes elbow. Put this all the way around like that. And then to flip out the head, all you do is up here is just push down and it'll roll all the way around. And you can do that either either direction. So then take this and you can just flip it up here to get it out of the way. You know, he does have a backpack. But um, I think that's the only way that they could figure out how to hide how to hide the head. It's kind of unfortunate, but that's what they had to do. So it looks like these should have been ratcheted, but they're not. They built the mechanism right here, but they didn't put it inside the leg. It's a shame. All right, so his guns. Dang, that's pretty tough to get in there. I haven't had him dual wielding at all. All right, so for articulation, start off up here at the head. It is uh, on a ball joint, but it's not. It, it looks like it's kind of way up there in the head. So you, you do, you can see the wobble in the head where it's going up and down. You can turn it both directions and you can turn it all the way around if you wanted to um, coming up here on the arms right here uh, you can actually um, move the arm forward and back and then right here so there's two joints in the shoulder and then the second joint will actually move out and that's a very hard ratchet then you have a twist right here then you have the elbow joint and nothing at the hands. And then you come down here, you have a waist swivel. Then at the hips, you can move it back, you can move it forward. Uh, you can hear that's on a ratchet. And then you can move it out on a very tight ratchet. And then he has his knee. And right above that knee joint is his twist for his leg. And then you can also point the toes, but that's mainly part of transformation. So. I don't know if you would really count that. He doesn't really look that bad in this mode. The only real nitpick that I have is his head looks a little small, but I understand that uh, because it kind of has to go inside his um, inside his body, so it may be a little small for that. And uh, I don't know if you can tell, but these right here, the Autobot symbols on his shoulders, are actually stickers. Uh, they were already applied and everything, so that, that's fine. You don't have to worry about putting any stickers if, if you're worried about doing that. Other than that, he looks pretty good in this mode. Uh, don't have very many complaints uh, other than, you know, just a backpack. But if you're looking at him head-on, you can't see that. So if you're going to have him displayed on your shelf, he's going to be like this. Okay, let me go ahead and show you how to get him into his combined mode. <clears throat> so I'm going to take these weapons off. And first thing, we're going to flip the head around. And then we're going to take and um, I think it's like this and like this. And we're going to take, you see this tab right here? It's going to tab into this hole right here in his shoulder. I can't really see that from anywhere, but. Um, you can see that there's a little notch in here that this portion can go into on his arm. So you, you'll push it in and you'll hear it click when it goes in. See? So I'll go ahead and go back around like this. Alright, so... And if you're wondering, this is not a sticker. This is actually tampoed on. This is painted on, so it's it's not a sticker. Um, I'm gonna take this around. Then this is kind of the reason that I don't like this guy is just mainly because of this. Um, you have to bend it out like that, and then go like that. And you see this hole right here. 
there's a peg right here in his thigh that you have to get that lined up with and then that's like his leg uh, for combined mode So there's that, and I didn't show this earlier, but you flip these fists back just so that you have access to the combiner ports right here. Combiner port, combiner port. Um, and you flip this down, flip that up like that so that this piece becomes a crotch piece. Then you flip this open, and then you lift the combiner head up, and like that. So and there you have. Um, Optimus in his Ultra Prime mode. He doesn't have any specific pieces that are catered just to him, so you can take any piece and make it an arm, a leg, whatever you want. In the instructions, it shows him with specific pieces, but you know they're just Wave One pieces. So basically, I'm just kind of hoping that maybe somewhere down the line they'll decide to uh, go ahead and make this the Energon Optimus Prime because it has the the Matrix thing right here and, and everything and they already have one helicopter so all they would need is a drill, a sub, and a like a ladder truck. I think it was a little fire truck. That's all they would need and then they would have the Energon Optimus Prime. So let me real quick, oh, something else I didn't show you is you can combine the the two guns so that it makes one long gun and again it has this which I don't like um, I guess you could do something like that but then it's yeah I don't really care for that so real quickly let's go ahead and take them back to um, let's take them back to robot mode um, just so I can get my final thoughts in here So, like I was saying before, overall this character isn't isn't a bad character. Really, I do believe that this was a secondary thought from the Minosaur or from um, Motormaster. And they decided, hey, let's go ahead and redo some of the arms and shoulders and chest and a lot of things and make them Optimus Prime. Uh, whether they complete that thought at some point and make him Energon Optimus Prime is totally up to Hasbro. Uh, I, I think it's already kind of started. Um, I haven't seen anything from Toy Fair or anything like that that would indicate that they're actually doing this. And the only character that I've seen out right now that, that would go with him is is just the helicopter right now. I, I think maybe if they make a uh, Computron or something like that, then they'll have a drill. But I have no idea where we would get a sub or a small ladder car from. So I, I'm not really sure about that. Uh, and I know that in some of their interviews they've been talking about, like say with um, uh, Defensor, that they're actually not making one of his legs a motorcycle, that they're actually taking the motorcycle and making that his chest, port his chest portion because they want to kind of make things proportionate. So with that, I'll go ahead and conclude my review of 
Transformers Combiner Wars Optimus Prime. Uh, don't forget to check out my other videos, subscribe, follow me on Twitter. This has been Tambieta, and I'll see you next time.